patterns of drug use in the UK are changing with a gradual reduction in the number of people initiating heroin and crack, but an increase in the number of people using a new group of drugs, commonly called club drugs. And what we've done at the clinic is we set up a clinic specifically for people who are having problems with these drugs. Now, what we've tried to do is develop a clinic that holds the expertise around these new substances, because lots of places won't be familiar with uh, helping people with these problems. And so we've developed a service that's really a, a sort of centre of excellence for these particular um, uh, sort of combinations of, of drugs. So what we've seen in the clinic is, is a range of substances being used. And some of the common ones people have come with problems around have been ketamine, mephedrone, crystal methamphetamine and GBL. And what we've done is we've developed real expertise around those different drugs and the different challenges and problems that they present. In terms of when someone thinks they might have a problem, that varies from person to person. So sometimes people know they've got a problem because they're aware that they're having some sort of harmful uh, effect of the drug. So maybe um, they've used it at the weekend and they just feel physically awful for the next few days. Sometimes you see people have more extreme um, symptoms, such as people have brief psychotic episodes where they hear voices or become intensely uh, paranoid. And some people get physical symptoms. So particularly with ketamine, we see people getting urological symptoms. That's, that's bladder symptoms. And so they find they might need to uh, urinate more often or that that's painful when they do urinate. Or sometimes even that they see blood in their urine. So some people realise they've got a problem because they actually sort of experience some sort of harm. Other people experience uh, or realise they've got a problem because other people tell them. So their friends, uh, say, oh, listen, you know, you, you do, you're overdoing it. Or people at work might say, you know, you're just not quite yourself at the moment. You're not, you're, you're not doing as well as, as you normally do. Is, is anything the matter? Or sometimes family members will say, you know, what, what's, what's going on? You, you, you're just, just not yourself. So there are a range of reasons by which people might realise they've got a problem. The important thing is that when people realise there's something there, a problem there, then they know where to get help. And I think one of the challenges we've got is that people using this particular group of drugs might go to a GP who won't be familiar with those drugs. They might go to a drug service who typically might say, well, we mainly deal with heroin and crack and alcohol and we don't really know much about your drugs. And that's why where there are these, these club drug clinics around the country, it's really important that people know how to get there and get the expertise from those clinics so they can get the right help. In terms of referring yourself, what we've tried to do is make it as easy as possible for people to get into treatment. So one of the, um, the, one of the ways we've really been pioneering is trying to get people to self-refer. And we've allowed people to ring the clinic. We have also encouraged people to email us or use QR codes and actually use their telephone, their mobile phone, as a way of getting in touch with the clinic. So all you need to do uh, if you want to get into treatment is send us an email saying, please, I'd like some help. And that's the referral process done. No need for a GP, no need to go and see anybody else to get a referral. You can refer yourself straight in. And that's shown to be a real strength of the clinic in terms of how people have found using it. One of the things that's really important about the way the clinic runs is that the service is completely confidential. So when someone first comes for an assessment, we ask who they're happy for us to share information with. And whatever that person decides is what we will go by. So if someone isn't happy for their GP to know or their family members to know or work to know, then that's the way it is. So it's absolutely a confidential service and it's really important that people feel comfortable coming to an environment where they can get help, feel safe and also know that their treatment and their confidentiality is protected.